I wanted to go up a little bit and get into the other bands. Uh, these here are um, VHF radios. That's the uh, Kenwood TK762G. I actually have one that's already set up in a power supply. This antenna has been through better use, but is is a uh, full self-contained unit with the output. Um, all I need is the IEC3 jack, which is most of the uh, computers uh, have them. But yeah, so this is a self-contained unit here. Um, of course, it didn't come with a mic. A lot of them don't, but you can buy the mics pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, that was the uh, the first one that I got here. This thing is uh, fully ready to go. But they are also used, I mean, just to show you the size of these things. It is tiny. That's a 25 watt radio, very tiny. This is the VHF. Still, it's the uh, Kenwood TK762G here. So, uh, if it uh, focuses for you. So, uh, yeah, this has a wonderful heat sink, but it is tiny. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is wonderful. This thing here gives you eight channels, um, 25 watts. You gotta program it through the uh, the cable here, which is a USB cable. Just just get the ones off of Amazon. That's what I did. And it'll be a prolific cable here, based, and allow you to communicate, pull anything off the radio, and then also download from it. This also has a data jack on the back here. And it allows you to do a lot more things with this. And there's the power wire and the antenna pigtail. I picked up a UHF unit. So the VHF units here are uh, right about, uh, they say 148. To 174 is their uh, their size that they will uh, cover uh, in the in the frequency spectrum. So I've heard you can actually use those for two meters, just the same. But um, so I got a full unit here. But these are see these units here. Can do a lot more things with them uh, as you can see this unit is a little bit roughed up on the uh, front here this one here is in amazing shape with the base unit so good thing with these these Kenwood units uh, my dad actually had I think this actual unit in his police car uh, to be able to get to the other departments in the city that's back before trunking uh still when analog is available you'll notice here we're missing something uh, the speaker grill we're missing the speaker out of this but these cases are in good shape They'll give you eight channels 25 megs, which is great. It gets you in. Uh, if there's a repeater, you can program transmit and receive on those. Check out this unit. This unit here is a little different. It has a full display on it. So the model on this is we have is the uh, TK880. You have 128 channels on this unit here. And this is 880. Problem is this thing is in rough shape look at this it's all pounded in a little bit the power cords are cut off we have our external speaker jack we don't have the external features that we have on this one 
And the antenna wire is cut off. Jesus. So, we're going to have to do a little work on this one. So, this 880 is so cool because it's basically another variety on a UHF VHF. So, this is the same size. See how everything's starting to line up on this? Even this display, even though it's not an LCD like this is. But look on the back. So I already have a, a VHF base unit. And the microphone hopefully it still works after it <laughs> took a beating here. So I already have one here, 7.62G. And I got this right here. So cool thing is everything kind of works out as far as this new VHF unit. So this one already has a speaker and it is in rough shape. It's a little rougher than I, I like. So I have a speaker that'll work just fine. So I'm going to keep that speaker there, but guess what? I can take that beat up grill and change it with the 762 and now it's like it's made for it. I'll do the same with the power cord. This power adapter as well, because this is a spare for me. But even this, which you just basically have to unsire to this pigtail. And I will put it in here. So... This is actually a version one, which gives us uh, 450 to uh, 490 megahertz coverage, um, 250 channels, and if I'm not mistaken, it's a 25 watt uh, output. Uh, I have it set and programmed in. I got some test frequencies, but I can't. I can program in down to the uh, ham 70 centimeters. So at least I have the frequencies in my area. Um, programmed in i you know gms uh, frequencies programmed in as well um that's pretty much it but since it's 450 we're grms and frs um so that that's not an issue um so i'm getting uh this all set to go down lower to the uh hand band um see so i'm at 490 i programmed in just some test uh frequencies here uh, 441 is where I need to get down to. So I have that programmed in for transmit and receive um, 490. I'll, and this is what will happen. You'll shift the uh, the window, the VCO we're going to control. Um, right now it does 450 all the way up to 490. Well, to get lower than 450, we're basically going to shift the whole window down a bit. So we're going to lose the top end um, a little bit here since we're 450. And right now you can get down... Um, People say you can get down to about four um, mid four uh, thirties, which we don't need. We just need a four forty one, four forty two, four forty three. Um, anything actually programmed into it will blink on the screen saying it's not able to be programmed. But if you close that out, you'll see that frequency will pr be programmed. It'll program in here. But this is what happens when you key up. I'm in a dummy load right now. Won't even let you. 490. 
that'll let you kick in real quick. But 441 is what happens. So I found some instructions online. It's a cool unit here. So let's go ahead and see if we can slide and uh, 441 test frequency right now. We should be squealing. Because it. Not a squeal, but more of the uh, just letting us know it's uh, not locked. So let's see if we can do brain surgery. Now. I mean, I literally have to put this in, be able to put this in. And I am telling you, it is small as all get out in here. We have my 441 test frequency through the dummy load here. Test one, two, three. So there we are. So and we have made it down to by doing our TX. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we we're able to get that, and that was correct. Now we have to do our receive because it's still not going to receive. Well, that seemed to do what we needed to do. So yeah, we can receive and transmit on 440 on this ridiculously small Kenwood TK880. And it is tiny, like I said, my hand is bigger than this damn radio. It's uh, ridiculous. These are cool little radios, 25 watts. Really, really nice for hand radio, DMS. Whiskey, whiskey, one, Tango Alpha, 104 MJB, standby. Well, as you can tell, that actually did work. So we're actually receiving and we're able to transmit as well on this for the repeater. Um, it's a fun little project. All right, I finally finished that video. That video took forever, at least two months to make. It took a while to find a small screwdriver. Um, and just wanted to let you know I did another update on this and I upgraded the microphone um, from the generic one that I did have and this is actually a uh, Kenwood um, so this has the full keypad on this and with these units and with the other unit you can actually have a um, front panel programming on these units they allow that as well if the programming software allows you to get that so you have to match up these different radios with the different Kenwood software out there most of the majority of those uh, software is now free it has a key but usually comes with it um, you can find that on a lot of good ham sites because um, a lot of these of course like I said are getting repurposed for uh, other things since a lot of the public safety is starting to go to uh, trunking systems so these radios right now are in a pretty big uh, pretty big supply and uh, you can get those in a bulk sale uh, pretty quickly in most government auctions but uh, yeah was it worth it I wouldn't say that like I said you can get about uh, you know the old Bofang, Biofang whatever you call these units this is the uh, the dual band and you can also get the quad band version as well and they're about thirty dollars so was it worth all the time and trouble i did to do this um probably not now that i have the uh the knowledge behind it, it wouldn't take long at all but just for someone to get into it and if you have this radio laying around it's worth getting it i mean what else are you going to use it for um so yeah get this set up for uh someone else maybe maybe you have a uh, um a new ham in the area and you, you got one of these laying around or you know someone that has a bunch of these, uh, you know, go ahead and grab them. And uh, you can get the one slide down for two meters, uh, the 760, 762, um, and the 880 here, which, you know, is UHF. So you can get into 770 meters or, you know, it's great for uh, GRMS. So, all right. I hope you appreciate the video. And um, I'm hoping that... Uh, this uh, may be useful to somebody else. It took me a lot of information, a lot of searching for to, to, to actually uh, 
get the information I needed to get this unit to uh, do what it says. I see a lot of videos and it's just a magic. But uh, like I said, I always try and give you some info if I can. And uh, hope you like the video. Share and subscribe, like, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. I do appreciate it. 73.